But I am excited to see him kind of settle into a stable passing game environment where you can get on the same page with a quarterback, then to de develop chemistry and then see what type of uh, production we can get. Georgia wide receiver George Pickens is a guy who had a ton of hype coming into this season. And of course, we weren't quite sure when we were going to see George Pickens when he suffered a knee injury in, in spring of last season. And uh, we got to see him late in the year. He came back, but he didn't really get a chance to do a lot to kind of change the perception of who he was as a player when we did see him this year. Uh, did make one big catch in the national championship game for the Bulldogs. That was kind of like the big splash play for George Pickens uh, this season. But Dre this is a guy who's 603, 295 pounds, 32 and 3 eighths on the arm. Surprisingly, eight and three quarters on the hands, which I don't think a lot of people expected with how good he is at extending and catching the ball away from his frame. And he ran a 4.47 verified at the NFL Combine. So talk to us a little bit about George Pickens, his profile, and, and how you perceive him as a prospect. So a few things about George, man. George is talented, right? I mean, he's someone that contorted his body and make tough catches. He got great catch range. He's got uh, a length and I think those are things uh, that you love about him. He's fluid. He's not very sudden. He's fluid though. He's a fluid uh, route runner. Uh, he's not necessarily great at uncovering uh, in the intermediate uh, areas of the field. Um, I think that if you pair that with the injury, and he's not very strong either. He's a, he's a a thinly built guy, right? And so um, a few of the, the, those are a few of the concerns that I have about George. Um, he's not very sudden, um, and I don't think he's going to have great deep speed. Um, but he's someone that that can be probably your third or fourth receiver. But if you if you play him there, this is a player that also has to play on teams, and I don't know where he plays it on special teams. And so. Um, I think he's good. I think he has talent. He's got length. He's a good route runner. He makes some tough catches. Um, I just don't know where he fits. So yeah, I agree. I agree totally with Dre. Um, with all the concerns he had, um, he was a guy I believe I gave a uh, late to a third round grade. And he's right on that cusp for us consensus too. We got some twos and some threes. Yeah, on. and 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 it was hard to even put that grade down, right? Because everything in me going to evaluation, I wanted to give him. A early two into one grade, you know, just what I was thinking about the splash plays and just who we know George Pickens to be as far as his um, tenacity and mental mental temperament. But the issues that Dre brought up, I mean, they are there. And I think this is a guy that has to get stronger. Like he has to get in the weight room um, in, in the NFL. We know he he's coming off injury, but he's not a guy that can enter the NFL and, and think that he's made it as far as his athletic profile. This is a guy that needs a lot of development in his release, um, suddenness, knowing how to run routes because if you're that big, we talked about those money down plays when it's third and three. This is not a guy I've seen consistently win quick slants, right? And, and that needs to be his game because I don't think he's a football player that's going to take it over the top consistently. Well, it, what's ironic is he did have a lot of chunk gains down the field during the course of his career at Georgia. That was right. an area where his, his impact was felt the most. So I'm sitting here and I'm asking myself the question, okay, he's almost uh, – he's over 6'3". He's under – 195 pounds or he is 195 but he's got a pretty good catch radius about him he's not super bursty or explosive but he has shown an ability to have some kind of savvy to win down the field and track the football and the name that i kind of came around to was a guy who um used to play for the cincinnati Bengals and chris henry the wide receiver and he was a guy who was built similarly to george and that he's yeah. tall and long but not dense and didn't necessarily win with dominating speed, but had kind of just like this knack of, I'm going to track the ball and I'm going to attack the ball down the field, and, and I'm, I'm going to make sure I don't let you undercut me, or if you get into my body, I can at least elevate and go up and get it. So I think he's kind of a player for me who's a pretty specialized skill set. And if you put him in a space that doesn't allow him to do that, I agree generally with what's been said thus far, and that if you don't give him that opportunity, I don't feel really good about the other contributions that he can make with consistency on a week-to-week -week basis for your offense. For me, I think one of the things that I thought limited George at Georgia was just not being on the same page with the quarterback. And, and you know, I've had the time to go back and really watch 2020 a couple of times with the different points that we get to players. And I just... There were times where I thought he was open, the ball didn't come. There were times where I thought he was covered, the ball came. And I just don't know that 
he ever got on the same page with that quarterback to allow him to maximize his ability to produce. And so I definitely recognize the concerns that we've all raised here, but I am excited to see him kind of settle into a stable passing game environment where he can get on the same page with a quarterback, then to de- develop chemistry and then see what type of uh, production we can get. And maybe there's a more ra- well-rounded skill set that exists here because I thought they were just really sloppy targets in, the, in, in a way from what he got at George, and I don't know if it was his best showcase opportunity. Well, we'll see if that uh, opportunity comes at the NFL level with uh, a different offense to work with, but George Pickens, he's an early three for us, projecting still as a top 100 player despite those questions, and we'll see if that physical potential can be drawn out with his next home.